What's up guys, welcome to your 21st 3D Studio Max tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be getting into the good stuff I'm talking about animation. So we're going to be learning how to create movies making things move around automatically and uh, what we're going to be going over is something called keyframe animation. Now if you're familiar with uh, movies or anything like that you know that each kind of movie is made up just of a bunch of still pictures and they're put and they're like slightly different from each other and when you put them all together and look at them real quick um, it creates the appearance of motion so those still pictures are called frames and what we're going to be working with is keyframes now what keyframe is is pretty much certain points of time that you have to define and once you define a point like right here would be a keyframe and then you could find another keyframe let's say over here in that once you define this one and that one your ball would go in between those keyframes automatically and create the appearance of the ball moving from here to over here so it's a lot easier uh, done than said yeah I said it so let's get right into it now so now that I differentiated between frames and keyframes, we can figure out what this time slider means right here. You see two numbers on this time slider, and everything down here, by the way, this is all your animation buttons right here. So you see 0 and 100 right now. The 0 button is the current frame. You're at 0, you're at the beginning of your animation. Now there are 100 different frames in your animation. So it goes from all the way to 0 to 100 being the end. So that's how many frames or that's the length of our animation that we have to work with. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and go over some of the main buttons. Now the main um, animation buttons you're probably familiar with are these ones over here. You can go to start, go to end, play, um, previous frame, you can go through them one by one. Uh, the most useful button right here is probably this one. This is the time configuration. Um, for now, I want to leave everything as default, but this is pretty much a frame rate, and frame rate means how many frames or how many pictures are in a second. Um, time display, don't mess with this. Playback, you might want to change if you want. What real time means is playback in real time and not lag or anything. Um, active viewport only only means instead of playing your animation in all these viewports, only play in the active one which uh, saves a little bit on your computer. Loop means play over and over again. This is a speed if you want to play it in slow motion or super fast or something. Um, if you want to play it forward, reverse, or ping pong, which means back and forth. And this is, uh, all this other stuff is pretty obvious. Start time, end time, and stuff like that. But for now, just leave it for default. I just want to show you what was in here and what to do with it. So now that we got that under control, I guess let's just go ahead and start animating something so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about now there are two different types or two different main ways you can animate and that's auto key and set key what auto key means is anytime you move this on the screen it creates a key for you what set key means it gives you a little more control and what this means is anytime you have set key selected and you wanna make a keyframe you have to click this little key right here and that'll set a key for you so we're going to be uh, we'll probably only be doing one in this tutorial but we'll do both if we have time so let's go ahead and click auto key and make sure you're at 0 100 so now once you see you click auto key and move this anywhere on the screen a key is created and now if you go ahead and go to I don't know 15 and move this over here you'll see that another key is created so now we have a key between 0 and 15 so now let's go ahead and move this somewhere like to 55 and move it back here and up a little bit and then we'll move it to 90 and we'll move it down over here and we'll also move it down a little bit so now our, b our ball has four keyframes one at zero one at 15 one at 55 one at 90 and from 90 to 100 it doesn't do anything it just stops for a little bit so now we have four little checkpoints that our ball has to check in with 
So it goes from, well, let's just play it and I'll show you. So now our ball goes from there to there to there to there. And it checks in with all those keyframes that we selected. So keyframes, as you can see, are pretty much points that we want the ball to hit in those periods of time. So now, if we want to stop this, just go ahead and click pause. And now, to get rid of our keyframes, uh, for now, let's just highlight them and delete them and also delete this first one. And now, let's work instead of auto key with set key. So go ahead and click set key. And now, you can see that set key is red. And set key is a little bit different. Now, let's go ahead and back to zero. And go ahead and move this ball to far away. Um, well, you can move anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. Now, anytime you click set key, you have to set your keyframes um, manually. So go ahead and at zero, at zero frame, go ahead and hit this key button. That's going to set a keyframe. Now let's go ahead to something like 25 and move your ball forward a little bit and up. And now, as you can see, unlike auto key, it doesn't create a keyframe automatically. With set key, we have to click this set key again, and that's going to create a keyframe. So now let's go ahead and move to 50, and we can bring that a little bit closer and down. And why not move it over a little bit? And right about there. And we'll create another keyframe by hitting this key right here. And at 75, or actually we'll put it like 90 for the end of our animation, we'll just go ahead and move our ball over here and I don't know up a little bit and set our key so now our ball goes from this corner to the middle to over here to over here so if you play our animation we get down over there over there and it as you can see just like the other one um, it hits all of those keyframes that we determine and keyframes are again they're just points or locations that the ball goes in from keyframe to keyframe all of the frames in between are filled in by what is expected of the ball to do so for example if you have one keyframe up here and you have one keyframe over here then the computer knows alright between your keyframes I'm gonna move the ball from here to here and that's gonna give the appearance of animation so once you play around with it a little bit you'll uh, understand the basics of keyframing and as long as you understand the basics of keyframing and what they are, animation is going to be a piece of cake. And if not, then keep watching my tutorials and you'll figure it out. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand at least the basics of um, basic animation. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.